Gemmel CDs part one. everybody and welcome to the first in the next stage of a look at my music collection and as you can tell from a big gap behind me we're on to my normal CDs so these are general albums released by artists greatest hits live albums and normal albums oh excuse me I just got them all down and it's hot and early in the morning it's put me a bit out of breath <sighs> um anyway yes um all I have to say about this is, A, I'm not going to go into too much details unless any of them are particularly interesting. They used to be in alphabetical order that went out the window largely because it was fine when I put them all in. But when there's over a thousand CDs, if you've got one beginning with A, you've got to move 900 and something CDs to fit that one in. So I gave up on that. Um, Eventually I will be going back to proper shelves to put them on and then it will be easier to do that. Uh, and the other reason that stopped was because I had to move the bottom set of those shelves is behind my TV stand and there's not enough room to get the CDs in without moving everything. So I moved some full racks down to the bottom so that I could fill from the top. Anyway, that's enough about that. As I say, not going to go into too much detail, don't know how long this will take. Uh, so first up we have Taylor Swift's Reputation, this, her next album has been announced but at the moment this was her last album. I like Taylor Swift's pop stuff, so I've got this in 1989 and I will get the new album. Um, not so interested in her country stuff. I've also got this on vinyl because I managed to get the picture discs set cheap, but it's a really good album. This comes with a poster which I will quickly show. Double-sided poster. Uh, a lot of this batch is sort of charity shop purchases because it's the top batch which is ones I've recently filled. Uh, so I've gradually been picking up all of Take Bats albums. So that's The Circus. I picked up the Platinum Edition of Jesse J's Who You Are. I've got all the albums called. Which is excellent. Uh, Jamelia's Thank You. I'm not sure why I didn't take that sticker off, but anyway, never mind. Uh, another take that, it's a beautiful world. Uh, I was happy to find this in a charity shop. This was in Bournemouth. This is Paul McCartney's Off the Ground. I'm getting all, all Paul's um, archive collections as they're released. Is it the archive collection they're called? Oh, you'll see anyway. Um, no, the archives are the big versions, but the new re-releases as they're coming out of all this stuff. But as and when I find the other bits, I will get them to bide me over until they're re-released. Um, REM's out of time. The Greatest Day, take that, Circus Live. And then this is the two CD version with an Abbey Road session as a second CD. Again, still charity shops. Uh, this was, did I buy it? Yeah, I bought this in HMV. So this is, as well as the re-releases, um, I'm, drunk, I'm just going to quickly see if I can find one so that I can remember what they're called. Give me that. Oh, it is the archive collection. So as well as the archive collection releases, they're also just re-releasing some of the albums. They're doing them on coloured vinyl and at the same time they're re-releasing them on CD. And this was from the first batch of those. This is Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. This is a really good album. And at the same time they also released Frillington. Which is an orchestral version of the Ram album. Recorded quite a bit later. Um, I see if there was a date on it. But no, it was quite a bit. It wasn't sort of contemporary with Ram. Um, released by Percy Frills Frillington, who is of course Paul McCartney. Uh, back to the charity shops, and uh, Beverly Knight's uh, Who I Am. Big fan of Beverly's. Uh, this is 
one of the archive collections. So this was, I think this is HMV as well. I do tend to do, rather than ordering them on Amazon, I don't know why, but I just tend to, when I do visit an HMV, pick up the latest ones there. It's just something, just the way it started. I started picking them up in London and then I sort of followed from that. But this is Flowers in the Dirt, which is the album we did a lot of it with Elvis Costello. It's got the original demos of some tracks on here. Uh, back to the charity shots, Justin Timberlake's Justified. Busted's a present for everyone. I don't like Busted as much as I like McFly, but I do like Busted. Uh, George Michael's songs from the last century. I've picked up all of George's stuff through the charity shops. I, previously I only had the greatest hits, which you will see at some point. S still charity shops, Katie Tunsell's Eye to the Telescope, that's a good album. Janet Jackson's with Velvet Rope. Uh, not her best, but had some good moments on it. Texas's White on Blonde, a classic album, half the tracks were singles. Love All Saints, this is their debut, self titled debut album. Which again, never ever a booty call. I know where it's at Under the Bridge, Lady Marmalade, War of Nerves, all singles. Uh, this was a good charity shop purchase. This is like you do the best of the lightning seeds. Again, I don't know why I didn't take the sticker off. Oh, never mind. Uh, which I really enjoyed. Happy to get this in my charity shop. This was Air's Moon Safari. Classic French pop dance type music. Uh, this was a, a proper purchase, if you like. This is a, a pre order through. I think she did it through Pledge, didn't she? Yeah, but I missed out on the coloured vinyl version, that was very limited. Uh, but this is the reissue of uh, Danny Minogue's Neon Knights. I... quickly. Um, I love Danny Minogue. I think she's severely underrated. Uh, some of her stuff is better than Kylie's, dare I say it. And she was sort of doing... sort of disco, you know, um, spinning around sort of era Kylie. Danny was doing it a couple of years beforehand. Um, and you know how much I love Kylie. Well, you should know how much I love Kylie. So I'm not dissing Kylie. I'm just saying that Danny's underserved. Uh, so yeah, this is the deluxe edition 10th anniversary. I think it was. Uh, loads of extras and remixes on it. The only sort of bad thing about it was it was a direct reissue of a special edition from about eight years earlier. This is Blur's reunion album, The Magic Whip. Blur are one of my favourite bands, but I've only listened to this once. I can't, it's not that I didn't like it or anything, it's just it came out at the wrong time and there was, there was too much out at the same time for me to really listen to one album. Um, so I need to give this another go. This is Sheridan Smith's A Northern Soul. Uh, so I Really like Sheridan, have met her a couple of times, she's lovely, I've kissed her. Um, well she kissed me actually. This was her second album which is all original songs, whereas the first one was all classics and songs from musicals and things like that. But yeah, it's a good album. And this is Cliff Richard's 75 at 75. I like a lot of Cliff Richard's stuff, some of it's shit, but <laughs> particularly the later stuff. But certainly his 50s and 60s stuff. They have some really good stuff and some good stuff from the 70s and early 80s as well. Um, but this is a nice it's 75 tracks so that they released as great hits for his 75th birthday. And it just covers his whole career in chronological order. Yeah, so it's a nice way to get some of his best stuff. And I've got other bits of clip as well here and there. Okay, let's try and safely move these out of the way. Trying to keep them in the order they came off the shelf. Which is easier said than done. Stay. Okay. So next we have Kylie Christmas, the deluxe version. So she, this is a Christmas album she released. Oh, it's probably far longer ago than I think it is. And my eyesight's 
failing me. 2015. Uh, so this is a Christmas album with lots of classic and original Christmas songs on here. And then it's got a DVD with videos of some of the tracks. But I've got, I just collect Kylie, so I had to have that. Uh, I enjoyed this. I'm a big Aretha Franklin fan. This is a brand new me. This is one of the latest trends that they're doing ever since the success of the Elvis one, where they're recording classic artists' album, uh, not al albums of classic artists' songs, but putting new orchestral backings onto them. And this worked really well. So this is Aretha River London Philharmonic, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, rather. But there's some really good bits on there. Uh, this was Charity Shop Purchase. Yes. Um, this is Paul McCartney's Driving Rain. <sighs> it's not great. It's got some good bits on there, but there's, there's 28 tracks on there, and it's just... It's overkill. Uh, it would have made a good shorter album. This is Royal Blood, How Did We Get So Dark? This is their second album, he says. 2017, yes, it must be. Um, I saw Royal Blood when they were on the Brit Awards show and just instantly thought, wow, they're really good. So they got their first album and then picked up their second album. They're not one stuff I listen to a lot, but when I, when I have listened to them, I've really enjoyed them. Um, so that was HMV, I think. This was a day one purchase. This is Janelle Monet's Dirty Computer. Love Janelle. Uh, introduced her through Prince, as I have been a lot of artists. They worked together, and she was a big fan of his, or still is. Um, this is her latest album. You may have seen I've got the vinyl version of this, which is on a lovely um, orangey, yellowy sunburst vinyl it's also got a great lenticular cover on it but yeah really good album as is lily allen's latest album no shame also got this on signed vinyl you may have seen uh bit annoyed because i pre-ordered the bundle with this and the signed vinyl through her website then about a fortnight later um hmv started selling exclusive signed cd or pre-order for exclusive signed cds so if i'd have known i would have just got the vinyl from her store rather than the bundle and pre-order the signed CD. Never mind. Yeah, really good album. This is Charity Shop Purchase. This is Janet Jackson's Janet album. Uh, really good album. All of her albums suffer from too many segues and you know, some great songs. I mean, some not so great songs, but this is probably her best album. Uh, this is David Bowie. Welcome to the Blackout Live London 78. Art of I've got all the Bowie box sets that have been released so far, as you've probably seen if you watch my videos. Um, this is this was originally released on vinyl as a Record Store Day exclusive, but then they put it out on CD a bit later. This is an alternate live album to is it David Live or Stages, whichever re the relevant one from this era is. Um, so this is a live recording from Earl's Court in 1978. I think it was Earl's Court. Yes. Um, on that, on the 1978 tour. This was Charity Shop Purchase. This was the Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. But when I got it home, it turned out it's actually a CDR recording. and So I will pick this up legally at some point, I'm sure, because I enjoyed the album. This is also Charity Shop. This is Beyonce. I am Sasha Fierce. Sasha fierce uh the deluxe edition probably our best album certainly from what i've heard and certainly going by the singles that were from it because it had if i were a boy halo uh single ladies video phone the ones that leap to mind but enjoyed that uh this is busted's first album self-titled again with charity shop purchase This is Robbie Williams. Uh, he went through stages for a few years where he was releasing live recordings of his live shows. Um, every show. For this tour, Swings Both Ways, I ordered the show I went to, which is at the O2 
in London on the 9th of July 2014. And then also they did sort of a compilation of the best of the tour and I ordered that as well, which you will see at some point. But this is a complete recording of the Swings Both Way live show. This was an HMV pickup, uh, Green Day's Greatest Hits, God's Favourite Band. I like Green Day enough to want their greatest hits, if you see what I mean. This, I think I also got this in HMV. I think these were all in one of their two for £10 or whatever the deal was, you know, one of those. Uh, this is Cheap Frills by Big Brother and the Holding Company. Really like Janis Joplin. Uh, so, picked this up. This is Lulu Making Life Rhyme, which was her album from 2015. Basically, I ordered this because they did a thing on their website where if you ordered her at the album, you also got a signed 7-inch single of Shout. So, that's why I ordered it. It's okay. It's not great. Uh, these are more of those Robbie releases. So, he did a little mini tour in France uh, in 2015. And they released it was three nights at the Zenith in Paris. Let's get them in order. And then they've sort of released a best of, and I just picked, I think it was slightly cheaper if you bought a bundle of, of all the CDs, so I got them all. So that was from the 30th of March, the 31st, and the 1st of April, and then that's the, the best of. <clears throat> Then we have a couple more on this video. Um, one of the Paul McCartney archive collections. This is McCartney, his debut al solo album. This has just got the original album in plus. Oh no, it hasn't. It's just not listed on the back. Uh, most of these, they do various editions of these, and most of them, where I could, I picked up the two CD versions because the bigger ones got expensive. Um, this has got outtakes, uh, some live bits, and has it got any? No, this one hasn't, but some, when there was non-album singles, they're always on the second disc as well. But that's his debut album, and um, this is Ram, which is technically a Paul and Linda McCartney album. Many people's favourite Paul McCartney album. Um, I'll have to listen to it again to give that opinion. This is just for one CD version. There's no consistency as to the releases, so some of them just came one CD, some came two CD, one you'll see at some point was two CDs and a DVD, just almost, you know, what you would consider the standard release. Uh, here's another one, this is Wings Over America, so this is the live album from mid-70s. And it's just a classic live album, over two CDs. No bonus on that. Uh, this is the album, Robbie Williams' album that I can never remember the title of, and it's Intensive Care. This is the 20th anniversary re-release. It's not the 20th anniversary of the album, it's the 20th anniversary of Robbie's career. He re-released all his albums. Um, so this CD1 is the album, and it's had each of these releases, the second disc is a DVD. It's got various Top of the Pops and later with Jules Holland performances and a couple of other TV performances from overseas. And they come in nice little booklets. Uh, this is again from the same series. This is Rude Box, which I know gets a lot of slating, but it's possibly my favorite Robbie album. I really like Rude Box. There's some really good stuff on here. Um, the DVD on this one is they commissioned a load of short films for all the tracks and it's all the short films uh, on the, B the DVD Again, out. this is Robbie's last album Heavy Entertainment Show if you don't include the Under the Radar albums uh, this was the deluxe edition or whatever they called it that I pre-ordered received as part of a massive bundle of loads of signed goodies and all sorts as well um, so this has got the album and then it's got a DVD with behind the scenes bits on it and this has also got five bonus tracks that aren't on the normal version of the album. Really good album. Um, when he recorded this he decided to pick it so that every track could be a single and it 
more or less works. And then finally for this video, we have Phil Collins for singles. This is an, another one where there's various versions of, but this is a 3 CD set featuring all his singles, more or less, um, uh, in chronological order as well, which means that the first two CDs are good and the third one's not so good. But um, I picked up, you might have seen in my box sets, and it's not visible because it's behind the shelf, uh, all the redone versions of his albums, um, but they didn't include the singles in the bonus tracks, so this was a no-brainer to pick up. Okay, so that is the first video, 20 odd minutes, that's not too bad, I'll try and keep them all around this length. Um, yeah, I've not gone into too much detail, so that's worked quite well. The playlist will have all subsequent videos and all previous videos looking at my music collection. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. Thank you.